Hello and welcome to Jiffy Hack Music, bringing you entertainment, education, and everything music. I hope you guys had a Merry Christmas. Today marks December 26, 2021, and I wanted to record a reaction of me reacting to Oh Holy Night, performed by Voice Play and featuring Rachel Potter. Now, for those of you who have seen my music channel, you know I am a sucker for Voice Play. And fun fact about me, I actually sang in an acapella group a few years ago when I went to college at Arizona State University. I sang in an acapella group called The Devil Clefts. It was co-ed, meaning men and women. I sang as a tenor for two and a half years and then a bass vocalist my last semester and I definitely learned quite a bit about vocal ensemble airflow and what it takes to be in an acapella group <laughs> and it's not that simple not easy at all and while we're watching this video I'm gonna be analyzing it from a filmmaker's perspective and a vocalist perspective so you'll get two in one and if you enjoy this reaction then you can find more voice play reactions in my voice play reactions playlist on this YouTube channel but let's dive right into the video The stars are brightly shining. Lower it just a little bit. No. It is the night of our dear Savior's birth. Long lay the world in sin and never pining till he appeared and the soul felt its worth. I really like the blending and dynamics, the, the mixture of the bass and the baritone, I would say, in this. Not necessarily tenor, but they're doing a really good job of building the momentum of this a cappella arrangement. Ooh, yeah. Give it to me, Rachel. What do you got? So beautiful. Part of the reason I wanted to watch this video, as soon as I saw it featured Rachel Potter, I knew she was going to have a solo because when does she not have a solo when singing with these guys? And I knew that her voice was just going to be absolutely incredible. Her voice was going to entail a nice gentle tone and I was not wrong. <laughs> The aerial shot. I freaking I love how he's just casually sitting or standing with his pockets, like no no big deal. Just kind of just gonna go back, like. Look at that. He's just sitting there, or not sitting, standing, just hands in pockets and just casually singing, like it's no big deal. The vocal range this man can freaking pull off. No, <laughs> it's that is insane. It's just the fact that he casually does that, that that's funny. Listen to the reverb with that, um, with the vocal percussion. Let's go back. I like that. Yes. 
Oh yeah. Sorry, I need to go back and listen to that. That no well. Oh, that is so beautiful. One more time. One more time. Just the way that ends, it's so beautiful. It just comes together and just steers you forward with the music video. I don't know. What else do you want me to say? <laughs> Jeff, Jeff has such a gentle voice too. His airflow is spectacular. Let's listen to that again. I think it's right here. He's definitely a male singer that is super easy to collaborate with. I could just tell if like there was someone that was wanting to do a duet with someone else, like a vocal cover or whatever, he would be great at harmonizing and just blending in with that uh, singer, depending on the type of singer and voice they had. But just such great airflow. It's crisp, it's clear, like it's Jeff. He's been singing for his whole life along with all these guys. <laughs> Perfect shot to end the music video. Hey! 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 Thank you so much for watching our version of Oh Holy Night. We really hope you enjoyed it. You can find this on our brand new holiday EP called... <laughs> it's right here. You find it everywhere. Streaming. Also, make sure to check out Rachel Potter. Yes. Uh, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. She's all the places. So please subscribe, like, throw us a comment, and we'll see you soon. And Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Peter Taylor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh, that, that was so much fun to watch. So now that I've seen the whole music video first time through, I am very impressed and not surprised by how much talent they have and what they put into this arrangement. But I am just really impressed with the overall film production aspect of things and how they blended their voices together. And I think that's what really set this arrangement apart compared to their other arrangement that they have. Nothing can compare to their Wicked medley. That is, that's a fact, period. If you have a different opinion then please comment down below what do you think is their best arrangement and carry on where son is one of my other favorites that they've done with this one i really love just the blending and dynamics and their airflow and just how they it was meant to be a gentle arrangement and by gentle i mean you know soft airflow nothing too pushy nothing too in your face it was just nice and subtle like a feather falling to the ground but i want to just look over this because i mean the film production aspect was great they definitely used a lot of aerial drone shots like right here, super well thought out aerial drone shot. And you can see the sun, it's either the sun or they have a light set up um, to show Jeff's um, lighting right here on his cheek. And it, it just blends really well. He obviously chose the scarf for a reason because it blends well with the grass. That's a nice product or costume design choice. Night, the stars are brightly shining. And I love this. It's a nice symmetrical view that we get from the camera. It's not off balance. This is such a nice symmetrical view. We have a person on this side, a person on this side, a person in the back, and a person on the right. And this gives us what you would call rule of thirds. It's a well-balanced composition for our eyes. It is the night of and then right here, this is what I like to call um, a right center heavy shot in the way of composition because like right around here, you're not getting as um, much attention, but around here, you know, you're getting more of the attention because there's um, the subjects are over here, but it still works because of the way the drone is moving, the stabilization and the motion picture. 
I love that the little lens flare, the the sun coming from uh, the cracks, the sun coming from the. You know what I'm trying to say. I'm just gonna move on. Long lay the world in sin and never I love that shot too. That's for one thing I really noticed um, when first watched. Right here, this shot. I love the lighting in that shot. Um, the glasses are a perfect match for the jacket, but he wears those glasses all the time anyway. <laughs> and um, just the light that illuminates off of his black leather jacket, it's just perfect for the tone of his shirt, the tone of his eyes, because it's nice and tungsten-like, and it blends well with the background and the sky. It's, well, I'm sure like when they recorded this in raw footage, it, was, it didn't look like this. They had to color grade it to look nice, and they had some sort of color profile setting in their camera as they were recording this so that when they were in post-production they could color grade it to really make the image and the color stand out but i really like the way that was set up and also eli the singer right here he is in center frame that's very important to notice till he appeared and the soul felt its worth one thing I really like about this part too is you hear Rachel's voice, you know it's there, you, you can tell she's kind of the soloist, and the men are backing her up just probably by a good 60%, but she's got the full 100%. Nothing but her voice that you hear, and I'm going to go back just a little bit so we can hear it again. Oh, a little bit more. I, as I said before, 60% of the men singing, and then it's mostly her. And I love that blend, the airflow that they put into that, um, those particular, that particular section. Very well done. The weary world rejoices for yonder A new and glorious morn Oh, yeah. I don't care for this right here. Um, I would assume that the cameraman had a lens shade. If you guys don't know what that is, I'm actually using a lens shade right now. That helps from separating any excess light that can enter the camera lens, which creates lens flare or this type of stuff, like this misty, dusty type of stuff. I honestly, I don't know if the cameraman had a lens shade. I'm pretty sure they did, or maybe the sun was just super freaking bright that day, but the sun also is directly right in front of us, so that could also be another issue why that happened, and it could be a stylistic choice, a creative stylistic choice, <laughs> a creative stylistic choice. Maybe the director wanted this to happen and to see a little bit of lens flare. I personally don't care for this shot as much just because of that but that's from what I'm seeing when Christ was born, and I love the snaps this is a great shot the two men right here Rachel in the middle dead center and then we have the two men right here this is just a perfect shot especially for showing her solo um, the mo the powerful part of her solo because she's saying, oh, night, divine, and Rachel, as you know, she's a powerful singer. She has a powerful vocal presence, and to really emphasize that in a music video, it's important to show, you know, her body. You could show a close-up of her if you wanted to, but the editor's, editor's choice was to just show, um, I would call that a medium shot, not a medium close-up or anything, but a medium shot of just her upper body, well, upper body and lower body and just, you know, the rest of the crew. And I would say they were probably using a wide lens to film this one. Truly he taught us to love. 
I love this shot. The composition is great. You probably knew I was going to comment on this, but I just love the symmetrical design of this composition and just all of them look so well put together as an acapella group. It just really shows character and resembles their um, chemistry as singers in this group. So very well done. And the camera movement is just super smooth and just well shot. And I love this too, the backlight, the backlight of the sun showing off of the head. You see this nice tungsten yellow spot right here. It gives you, it gives you more eye attention. Why am I saying eye attention? It directs your eyes towards the back of his head. Not really, but it, it's like an assistant into visually being attracted to what you see here in front of you. And the glasses have a nice contrast to them. Just the, the lighting of this jacket and just the back atmosphere. I, I just love everything about that shot. Very well done. And his gospel is peace. Oh, oh, oh. And this guy, just not, not this guy, this guy has such an amazing voice. I reacted to their Queen medley and he did just such an outstanding standing job at the very end with his vocal range as a high tenor. Definitely check that video out on this channel if you haven't already, but just such an amazing job. Oh my gosh. I mean, further furthers my point. <laughs> That was a really cool shot. I want to look at that again. It's it's making like a um an a J. Oh, like you know how editors say J cut. Well, it's making like a J. It's going in that kind of motion. The drone is going up down here and then up. Oh, we're going to turn. That's a nice shot. This I don't mind with the sun and then all the the, the musty, not musty, the the dirt. You know what I'm trying to say? The atmosphere. I I like that. And then the nice shine off of Jeff's hair. What a handsome man. What a handsome man. And grateful chorus raise me all within us. Praise his holy name. Oh, that was a nice touch with the birds. Look at the birds right there. That is a good shot. I don't know if that was planned, but they kept it in there and I'm glad they did. Yes. That is so well done. I just got to go back to it. I know I, I went back to this thing during the reaction portion. That is just so well done. The um, the person who arranged this, I, I really want to look at the description right now. Who the heck arranged this? Usually it's Jeff that arranges this stuff. Vocal arrangement by Ben Bram. Outstanding job, Bram. Or Ben. <laughs> Outstanding job, Ben. Just wow. That I just love the way that sounds. Like uh, that just makes you want to be a bass singer. <laughs> I'm never going to become a bass singer for them because I don't stand a chance against Jeff. That's not me being hard on myself. That's just like thousand, not thousands of years, but several years of Jeff performing as a singer and da da da. I know I'm a, I know I can sing, but you get my point. Okay, I swear the birds were planned right there. I'm gonna go back so we can really just embrace her beautiful voice, but the birds were so freaking planned right there. I, I honestly, they probably weren't, but I just wanna say they were because that that's just such a great timing. <laughs> oh, go back a little bit. Let's really embrace it. Oh. Ooh, that reverb. 
I like the magenta and they probably waited a little bit after uh, like probably about an hour or two for the sun to go down to film this. <laughs> Is such a beautiful picture or shot I should say such a beautiful shot wow yeah that was incredible that was such that was definitely worth watching a second time and giving you guys more of an analysis hey if you guys are enjoying this video it would mean the world to me if you could give it a like and if you have any other friends that are acapella fans and would love this music video reaction then please share this with the rest of your friends as well and let me ask you this question did you like this arrangement by voice play did you really like this music video do you think this is one of their better christmas arrangements or do you think they have even better christmas arrangements i'm just getting started right now on their christmas stuff because normally i react to pentatonix christmas stuff but with voice play yeah no they're blowing me away each time thank you to my patreon supporters for your monthly contributions to this youtube channel if becoming a patreon supporter sounds interesting to you which it most definitely is interesting then definitely check out the link in my video description below as well there are very cool affiliate links in my description that give you information on how to sing what type of youtube gear i use to record my videos how i edit these videos and you can find more videos on how i edit these video reactions on my patreon and if you enjoyed your time with me to find out about the latest of what i'm up to you can check out my social media links in the description as well and you can look at my music on my website. That's right, not only do I react to music, I love making it. And I have some music video covers on this channel if you're interested in watching those too. I hope you guys enjoyed your time on this channel. If you haven't seen another voice play reaction on this channel already, definitely go watch it and I'll be sure to see you there.